I'm beginning this Once Upon a Time Makeup Hair and Outfit with the makeup. So taking this Face Oasis CC Cream, I applied it in a dotting motion all over my face and then blended it in with a foundation brush. People are going to tell you who you are your whole life. You just got to punch back and say, no, this is who I am. Then I'm taking my favorite concealer, which is the Garnier Skin Renew Under Eye Roller Ball, and I'm applying it to any blemishes and then blending it out underneath my eyes also to get natural yet flawless looking skin because Emma's makeup is always on point and I'm always jealous of how she looks. So I'm taking this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, which just gives you some extra coverage. Then taking this Fit Me Blush in Light Pink. She just has a little bit of a rosy flush to her cheeks but it's not usually that noticeable so you just want to apply a little bit then you want to apply a light pink or nude lipstick this is Revlon pink velvet and I really like how this looks it's a cream finish and then I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette it has all the perfect shades I took the lightest shimmery one Venus and I applied it all over my lids then I took the matte shade underneath my brow bone as a highlight and I took the brown colored once and I applied it in the crease and whether you have this palette or not you can easily achieve this makeup look with some light browns and nude colors because Emma has a very laid-back makeup look and you at least have to apply a little bit of eyeliner Emma's look is typically a very thin amount of eyeliner just a teeny bit of a wing and it just gives a really classic look and it's very minimalistic and then I'm going back in with a light brown color, which I'm going to smudge in with my finger on my lower lash line to make my eyes appear bigger and stand out more. The last step to this makeup look is, of course, to apply some mascara. Any black one will do, but this is the Big Fatty Mascara by Urban Decay. And now, of course, you can't be the savior without her signature long hair. So I'm taking these Irresistible Me hair extensions, the 18-inch ones, and I'm clipping them in, starting with the biggest piece at the bottom and then layering it up with other sized clips and then blending it in with your real hair by covering the clips with it. And you just keep on repeating this pattern until you get the desired length and thickness of hair that you want. And then curling your hair with your largest curling wand to give you loose tumbling waves just like Emma. And so the last step to transforming yourself into this TV show character is the fashion. So I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this outfit that Emma Swan wore in the first season of Once Upon a Time. So my Emma Swan jacket, necklace, and bracelet are all from an online website, which if you type in the item, you can find it online. I actually got them as gifts. My jeans are from American Eagle. My white tank top is from Forever 21. And then... My boots are actually from Target. They're a little bit different than what she wears, which are lace-up boots, but I think it pretty much looks the same. So that is all for this outfit. Very Emma Swan inspired. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watch Once Upon a Time, tell me down below if you like this season because I am loving Dark Swan. I think it's such a good twist. And if you haven't seen my Orange is the New Black makeup tutorial, click the screen right up above or down below in the links. Love you guys.